What's up, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and in today's video, I'm gonna be covering a brand new topic that is going to be incredibly relevant. So if you've been keeping up with Nvidia news at all, you've probably heard of the new Nvidia Reflex. What exactly is it? Well, linked down below is Nvidia's press release talking about exactly what this is. Basically, all that it does is it decreases the amount of time that it takes for a frame to be rendered and sent to your monitor to help decrease latency. While this is semi-related to FPS, the higher the better, and of course the refresh of your screen also being the higher the better, it just sends it faster to your screen so that you can have less latency between an action and actually see it appearing on your screen even at lower FPS. Of course, without explaining too much about what this is, how exactly do you get this enabled and start using it in your games. Well, while this is an incredibly cool piece of technology that Nvidia is working on, and as far as I know is starting to roll out, this isn't available for all games just yet, but I'll be showing you how you can enable it for all games when they do eventually have it, and how of course you can enable it in said games. So in this press release over here, we see this bit of text. At the time of the Reflex SDK announcement, the following games plan to support Nvidia Reflex with our next game ready driver on September 17th, 2020. Fortnite and Valorant. Additionally, the following games have announced support for Nvidia Reflex coming soon. So these ones don't currently have it. Apex Legends, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Call of Duty Warzone, Cuisine Royale, Destiny 2, Enlisted, Kovac 2.0, and Mordhau. Now, of course, these are the only games that have officially been announced to support or to add support for the new NVIDIA Reflex SDK. Why exactly is this? Well, games have to be fundamentally changed to some point in order for this new technology to actually work. This isn't as simple as updating your graphics driver and flicking a switch. The actual game itself needs to be built with this in mind. And these games over here have announced that they will be adding support if they haven't already. Now, of course, it is September the 17th while I'm recording this, so we'll be checking this in just a moment to see if Fortnite or Valorant has this. But there's a couple of other things that we need to do first. The first thing we have to do is update our NVIDIA driver to the latest version. You can either do this through the GeForce experience, or you can simply visit the NVIDIA website and download it from there. Because I don't like GeForce experience, I'll be doing it through the website. Heading across to this website linked down below, you'll see this over here. Simply select your product series, product name, operating system, and select a game ready driver. Then simply click search and we'll see when the latest release is. This one over here was released on September the 17th, today and hypothetically should include the new Nvidia Reflex. I'll simply click download and then download once again. Now we're downloading the 600 megabyte driver. Heading back a page, this is the description of this release, Game Ready for Fortnite RTX. This new Game Ready driver provides support for Fortnite's dramatic new update, which adds ray traced effects, NVIDIA DLSS, NVIDIA Reflex, and custom RTX map. This feature over here, NVIDIA Reflex, is what we're really interested in. So now that we've downloaded it, I'll simply click on it to open it up. Then I'll simply click OK, and we'll wait for this to initialize. After checking compatibility, you can choose whether you want GeForce Experience or not. I personally don't like it, so I skip out on it. Then I go to Custom, and I also disable the HD audio driver as none of my screens have audio built into them that I actually use. At this point, I'll have to stop the recording and wait for it to finish. When it does finish, I'll restart my PC entirely just to make sure that things work as expected. So one of the two last things that we have to do is simply tell NVIDIA Control Panel to use Ultra Low Latency Mode. More than likely, you already have this selected if you followed some sort of game optimization guide in the recent months. Simply right-click on your desktop and click NVIDIA Control Panel. Then head across to the Manage 3D Settings page and then the Global tab. At this point, scroll down until you see Low Latency Mode. Simply change this from Off or On to Ultra. As you can see, select Ultra to prioritize latency by fully minimizing queued frames. In addition, this mode minimizes VSync latency when both VSync and G-Sync are enabled. So now that we got Ultra Low Latency Mode selected, all we have to do is find a game that supports the new NVIDIA Reflex. While this isn't supported by all games currently, and of course games need to be built with this in mind, or at least have it added at a later stage, this ultra low latency mode can still help you. So after we've done that, all we have to do is simply boot up a game that supports it to enable it in game. By default, this new Nvidia Reflex technology has to be supported by games. So of course, opening up a supported game isn't exactly the easiest currently. At the time of release, as far as I know, only Valorant and Fortnite support this. So I've had to go ahead and download Fortnite once again. 
Of course, more than likely, you'll just have to do an update. Heading across to my library and launching up Fortnite, when we get to the main menu, simply click a game mode, I'll pick Battle Royale. Then click the settings in the top right, settings once again, and now we see all of this over here. As far as the note, you will need to enable full screen mode for this to work properly. After you've done that, now we simply just need to look for this new option. And there we have it. Under advanced graphics, we have Nvidia Reflex Low Latency. As you can see, we have On and On Plus Boost as an option. Nvidia Reflex Low Latency reduces the system latency in GPU bound scenarios, requires an Nvidia video card and the latest drivers. From here, we can change it to On or On with Boost. Now, the difference between these two is negligible in most cases, but of course, you'll need to do some of your own research to see which one will be better. Usually, On Plus Boost will be the better of the two. Upon clicking Apply, you can simply head back a menu and immediately start playing. But of course, this was only Fortnite. You'll need to do that for every game you'd like to use this NVIDIA Reflex technology in. And of course, not every game will support it and not every game developer will add it to their game in the future. That list that we read through earlier are the announced ones. So you'll just have to keep your eyes open for it in the options menu of a game. Anyways, I hope this video helped clear up some confusion as I was a little bit lost myself. Thank you all for watching. My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.